Hello there. So let's talk about repetitive use injuries. Now what are they? They um, tend to be imbalances in our bodies that create either, or that result in either injury or pain uh, that are created by, as the name suggests, using your body the same way over and over and over again. And you see this a lot in a modern day society. It's the way we walk, which is on unnatural surfaces and un in unnatural shoes. Um, typing or you know, holding our arms in this internally rotated position with our wrists and our hands in the same way tends to, you know, is a big cause of carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, even the way we sleep can be a repetitive use problem over time. And because our body's always adapting to the positions we put it in, and if we're always putting it into the same position, it starts to create or conform to that shape, which may be imbalanced and then can lead to injuries or pain. And one big category of that, which I became uh, acutely aware of recently because I took a long hiking trip, was, is how we carry our backpacks. And so let's talk about something that we can do here. Um, one is we have this regular backpack position, which is because it's a backpack. It's the way it's designed is to be held, carried on your back. Now, but this is putting a particular load and force on my body, depending on it. I don't have a lot of weight in here, but if I did, you know, I'd have to do certain things to balance myself. One is maybe I try to bring the weight over my hips more by leaning a little bit forward. The backward pull of the backpack might make me pull my shoulders forward all the time. Maybe my head reaches forward. And so over time, just that, that shape of the, the shape my body is uh, adapting to with a backpack tends to be maybe a little bit like this. And it can also put a lot of pressure through the shoulders, top of the uh, bottom of the neck. And so you start to, I uh, experienced recently, getting a lot of sort of wear and tear and little abrasions on the tops of my shoulders. So the, it seems like the most simplest answer uh, for a solution to this is just vary your carry. I like the rhyme there, but change the way you are carrying your backpack. So what could you do? You could wear your backpack on your front instead, shift it over here, change the load. That's actually kind of nice because then you'll have to do something else like maybe extend your spine a little bit. Um, you can practice holding it in different ways here, maybe under, or over, pulling it into your chest. And this is just a couple options. And this isn't, it might look a little bit weird to walk around with a backpack on your front, but it's not that different than you see a lot of people with baby carriers carrying their babies in the front pack. You know, it's the same with the backpack. Um, and what I kind of say to that is why not? Because in order to get healthier, as a culture, I think we have to start to change the cultural norms and so that we start to move our bodies in ways that are more health, in, health inducing for us rather than trying to make our bodies move in ways that seem normal to the culture. So what are some other ways you can do it? Of course, you could just hold your backpack by the side. Most backpacks have little straps you can hold or I can even hold the backpack, shoulder straps this way. Hold on your side, great you know, way to help strengthen your shoulder. Of course, you can always, once that hand gets tired, switch, the, switch hands and you have this other hand free now. And you can walk around like that. Um, you can bring the backpack not up on your, not wearing the straps, but you can just hold it down at your waist and walk around like this. This tends to be not the most efficient carry because your thighs are gonna keep bumping into, into it, but it does, it is effective. You can bring it up higher all the way up into your chest and just hug it. That's a nice way to carry a load. One of my favorites is this though, is to actually put the backpack up on your shoulder and do a shoulder carry. Especially for men, this helps really sort of, I mean, because we care, our center of gravity tends to be higher. I find that this becomes a really comfortable carry for a while. It might make your arm a little bit tired, but it's a great way to balance the weight. You can always switch it over your head and go to the other side. Walk around, carry the backpack that way. Now I'm saying this as far as like your actual pragmatic loads that you're carrying around, like a backpack, 
but you know, this is what people do in the gym. You know, they lift weights and pull them up and do all these squats and carries with things like that. Um, of course, you can just hug it to your chest. Switch it to the other side. Here's one that I think I, I like a lot is actually bring it onto your lower back and hold it with your arms on your lower back rather than using the, um, the shoulder straps. And you can walk around that way. Just having it rest on your lumbar spine. Beautiful way to carry something. Uh, and then just play with, keep switching how you carry things. Create as much variety as you can. Shoulders, chest, Use the straps when you need to. Keep switching side to side. One that you don't see a lot, but is very viable, is you can actually carry it on your head. You see this in a lot of different cultures, not so much in the US of A, but you see this in a lot of different places of the world. Also a great way to carry things. It actually helps distribute the weight right through your spine, as long as your head isn't jutting forward too much. So I think that's actually a hashtag you can use, vary your carry. So keep doing that, vary your carry, change it around. Where else could you apply that in your life? Like vary your shoes, vary your gait, vary the way you eat, vary the way you type, vary the way you sleep. You can go on and on and on. And it's a great, great uh, category, category for exploration to bring more movement and more health into your life. All right, keep moving. See you next time.